The call to make China pay is fast turning into policy and practice. A clear cutting of the cord is neither possible nor feasible, but a gradual distancing is clearly underway. China's first response to all of this was to issue threats to bully countries. But that hasn't paid off. The wolf warrior diplomats of Beijing have only ruined its case. So China has dispatched its foreign minister, Wang Yi, on a tour of Europe to control the damage done by his team. Our next report tells you what's in store for him. This video, shared by a Chinese government official, is fake. In March this year, China had claimed that Italians are singing Grazie Sina or Thank You China from their balconies. This was propaganda by the Chinese state. A fake video meant to amplify the news that China is sending urgent medical supplies to Italy. Europe didn't ignore China's misinformation campaign. The European Union wanted to make things public. But China warned the EU at least three times against naming Beijing in its disinformation report. The European Union refuses to bow before China now. It went public in June. Europe blamed China for a huge wave of disinformation on the Wuhan coronavirus in a report. This was one of many instances this summer where Beijing's diplomacy backfired. Now, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi is being dispatched to Europe for damage control. Wang Yi will visit five countries in one week. He will hold meetings with every key stakeholder in European politics. China is increasingly losing ground in Europe. Wang Yi's job will be to contain the damage inflicted by China's own missteps. His first stop was Italy, the country that suffered the worst outbreak of the Wuhan virus in Europe. Wang Yi's tone was friendly on the first day. But China seems to be losing friends in Brussels. Joseph Borrell, the European Union's foreign policy chief, has called for a united front against China. In a blog on the European Union website, Borrell described China as aggressive and assertive. The piece makes a mention of India's border standoff with China in Ladakh. Also, the shrinking tolerance for dissent in Xinjiang and Hong Kong. Earlier this year, the European Union itself got a taste of China's censorship. It was censored not once, but twice by China. First in April, a report on disinformation softened criticism against China. Then in May, an op-ed jointly authored by ambassadors of 27 European Union member states was censored. A sentence that labelled China as the original hotspot of the Wuhan virus was deleted. Faulty Wuhan virus supplies only added to Beijing's troubles. Spain, the Netherlands and the Czech Republic were among those who complained. Joining a global chorus of countries which raised serious doubts over Chinese supplies. Wang Yi's Europe tour is his first trip abroad since the pandemic hit the world. His mission is to bridge the divide with China's European partners. But given the recent statements by the European Union, the Chinese foreign minister is more likely to face a hostile crowd. Bureau report, we on, world is one.